In this video, you'll learn how HR managers can get the most out of the new Employee Center. Maria is a manager located in the San Francisco area, supporting the customer success team. Because of this, she has curated content pushed directly to her, anticipating questions or concerns she might be having. She's never bogged down by unnecessary or confusing information, allowing her to be more engaged with her company. So now let's take a look at the Employee Service Center as Maria. You can see at the top that we've got a header that's got cases, plans, to-dos, requests, and forums. We'll take a look at some of those in a minute. But first, I wanna take a look at HR articles and requests. Using a robust knowledge management solution encourages the ability to shift left and assist the end user in locating resolutions before reaching out to an HR agent. You can see there are many pre-built knowledge articles that can be used as templates or borrowed and maintained throughout the life cycle of your HR solution. Next, we're gonna look at requests. Having a pre-built HR catalog saves a lot of time in implementation. You can see some common categories here on the left, like benefits and employee relations. These are some recommended categories and recommended services. However, through implementation, we can refine and configure these to be more appropriate and more unique to your organization. Let's head back to the homepage and take a look at some content here. You can see we've got topics that we can browse. We've got favorite items along the right-hand side, as well as some videos and, and company news. As we scroll down, this content is all dynamic and it can all be very easily customized. Okay, back to the top. Now let's take a look at the forums. These forums are employee communities that can become an important part of your self-service strategy. They can be configured and targeted to items that are relevant to the logged in user. Through the forums, you can also show multiple content that's dynamic to the user who's logged in. So let's just quickly take a look at some featured content. You can see that we have pinned a video as well as an upcoming event. It's also common to post discussions as well as forums to get help on how to upgrade to VPN, for example, or how to set up your network. Again, these are great self-solved solutions that can encourage shift left as well. All right, back to the home page we go. Okay, so we talked about those favorite items. And when you favorite something, it shows up here on your home page. Now that we've seen an overview of the Employee Service Center, let's dig in a little further. A solution has been configured so that managers can easily approve all types of requests. Maria is going to view and approve a request for a new laptop for one of her employees. She also is going to see that there's a video for her on the performance review cycle and how it will integrate with the new working conditions. Maria happens to be back in the office full time, but she'll be doing performance reviews remotely this year for the first time, since most of her team has opted to work from home for the next year. Finally, there have been some updates to the belonging groups that are available. Maria can review the updates and decide if she wants to join any of these groups. She can easily read and mark things she has completed. In the span of just a few minutes, Maria was empowered to quickly and easily complete critical steps in moving these cases forward. Let's take a look at how she did that. First, we're gonna look at the to-dos that Maria has. 
When I click on the to do's option, I'm presented with a helpful list. Let's go ahead and approve that new laptop. Next, we'll take a look at the performance review that we talked about earlier. You can see that Maria's to-dos contain a performance review and an embedded video. We can watch that later if we like. Next, we'll see if there's any updates on the forums. As again, these are very common ways for end users and employees to find out more about things that interest them. We don't see any updates. So let's head back and see if we have any more things to do. Oh, looks like we have an NDA document that we need to view inside. So we'll take a look at that and we'll open it up. And then we can very easily go ahead and sign this document by just scrolling down and typing in our signature and accepting the document and completing it. All right, so as you could see, there are different types of employee tasks and employees are empowered to help complete and contribute to cases they're involved in, in a very quick and easy way. <laughs>